Ever wondered how a hacker can steal your password? Well, one way is using a keylogger. In this video, I'll show you how to build a simple prototype for a keylogger and how to keep yourself safe from one. Please note that this is for educational purposes. You're not allowed to send this to anyone without their consent. And I'm working in a test environment right now. So a keylogger basically registers all key presses on a computer and sends them over to the hacker. We will be using Python for key presses and we will send them over on Discord using Discord Import web Import input and requests. These two need to be downloaded using pip. So open up command prompt, cmd and type in pip install py input and pip install requests. So I already have them installed. Uh, then we will also import threading. This one it already comes with Python. You don't need to install it. Now let's initialize some variables like our text variable, which is going to be all the key presses our webhook URL, which will be for sending the data on Discord, and our time interval, which will be how many seconds will pass until it sends the data, basically. So it'll send the data every 10 seconds, for example, and all the key presses every 10 seconds. You can change this though, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, so first let's make our on press function. So in this function, we will simply add the key that we press the text variable. So basically test plus equals, we have to transform it into a string. So string key and remove its quotation marks and global the text variable. So uh, this simply adds whatever we press to the text, but some keys like space or enter or control, you know, they can't really be added here, so we will need to make some if statements for them. So for example, if I'll just add a couple for now, just like two. So if the key will be keyboard, if the key will be space, for example, so keyboard dot key dot space text, we will add a space to the text. So else if key will be keyboard dot key dot enter, we will add a slash n. And here else, if it's none of those two, we will just add the normal key. So now we have to make a listener that will listen. Whenever a key is pressed, they'll call this function. So it's pretty easy. We just use the pi input module. So with keyboard listener on press, we will call the on press function. And then we will do listener dot join. Now this is done, but we need to send the data over on Discord. So over on Discord and create a new server with a channel wherever you want the keys to be sent. Then go to server settings, integrations, webhooks, and here create a new webhook. I have created mine already, so just click on it after you create it and click copy webhook URL. After you have copied it, go over in your code and paste it in the webhook URL. So now let's create a function that will send the data. So send data. Our data will consist of the content, which will just be the text and the title, which will just be the username of the keylogger. So I'll just call it keylogger for now. Then we will send this data using a post request. So requests.post to our webhook URL and JSON will be equal to data. Now we have to make a timer that will send, that will call this function every 10 seconds. So we'll be using threading for that. So just create a timer and it will be equal to threading.timer with the time interval and this the send data function. And then timer.start. Uh, now we have to first call we have to call this function like uh, for the first time. We will just do it here. So here we will just call it for the first time. Send data before we join the listener. So let's test if this works for now. So just run it with F5 and uh, just type something. So I'll go notepad and I'll just type, hello, this is a keylogger. I see you or something. Then go over on Discord. Oh, and as you can see, it has sent it. So this it says here notepad because i have wrote notepad there yeah so it just sends it every 10 seconds basically it updates it we will need to add a couple of if statements now 
in case we like if i press for example shift or control as you can see it'll send here uh key.cmd shift or something like that and that's not really nice yeah you can see it does it like this so <clears throat> i'll just add some if statements here if the key is backspace uh, then we need to delete the last character. So if the length of the text is bigger than zero, we will delete the last character like this, minus one. Else we won't do anything, we'll just pass. So this is basically it. Um, wait, let me add some we also need to add some ifs for the control keys. So if it's uh, control L or control right, so now this is basically it. We have finished the uh, key logger. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll make a part two on uh, compiling this maybe into an exe or something so that you can like send it to a victim. Um, of course, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but this is basically the video. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.